Imagine a story of two islands and you're, let's call it shipwrecked in the universe and you see these two islands and you're either swimming towards one or the other. What you may not be conscious of is on one of the islands, everyone who's stronger takes advantage of everyone who's weaker. Everyone who's smarter takes advantage of everyone who's not as smart. Whereas on the other island, everyone who's stronger and smarter helps develop everyone else for a common good. And without realizing it, through the way that you develop your thinking process and the habits that you form in that realm, which are the habits of your life itself, you're either paddling towards one island or the other island. And if there is any truth to the fact that everything is connected to everything and we are all interdependent in some ways, then you're dragging the rest of the world towards one island or the other. And it's why I think so many people misunderstand Aikido, Aikidoists as well as people in other arts, uh, without realizing it that if you are thinking in terms of defeating an opponent rather than reconciling the world, you're paddling towards one island, whereas if your development is with the intention of creating a world of harmony, a world where we make it better for ourselves and each other at the same time, where we're conscious of that kind of work, then I think you could see Aikido in a different way and the fact that we tend to practice these movements of blending and harmony rather than devastating, dominating and what looks like winning in most people's minds, I think creates this misunderstanding. If you're living on the one island, why would you train Aikido? Because you've already decided that's the way it's going to be. Whereas on the other hand, if you see that you're actually in a stream swimming towards one island or the other, creating one tonality of the planet or another, then I think you could, might see Aikido as developing the quality of being where one moves in such a way so you don't find yourself in opposition to what is, you don't find yourself fighting or dominating others, but you find ways to work with and reconcile, creating a one world family, as the founder called it. And I think the myth that I see in so much of the arts is that they're coming from the one island already. They're living on the one island already. And so Aikido doesn't make any sense to them. And I understand that. I don't quite understand why the arts hate each other, why the religions hate each other. And of course, not everyone of every religion does, but clearly a lot of people in almost any religion have that feeling that they seem to feel that their religion is right and they either want to change or destroy anyone who believes differently. And we see it in sports and we see it in martial arts and we see it in business. And it creates a world of that domain. And the process of Aikido is to help us develop the kind of strength so that we can move beyond the fear of living in the aggression that fear produces and start living in a world of harmony where we create a mutually supportive world of uh, love. As the founder said, Aikido is the realization of love. And I'd leave you with the thought of what if all the time, money and energy that had gone into fighting, into war, into human conflict, into disagreement and argument in closed-minded ways had gone into exploration and understanding into art, education and commerce. Can you imagine the world we'd create? That's why I'm swimming towards that island the best that I'm able. Create a beautiful world. <laughs>